Now you have three very unique scenes. Let's call them the drain scene, the death or funeral scene, and the dance scene. Which of those three? The three D's. <laughs> right, which, which intimidated you the most and why? Do you know, um, intimidated me? Which of the three scared you the most? No, I am. I don't sound like, but no one really. I mean, the the dancing scene because like I'm dancing, you know, and I don't dance usually. I'm not really a dancer, so having to kind of you know, get out there and dance on camera in front of everyone and it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard. But um, it didn't scare me. None of it scared me. I, I understand uh, because if you see me dance. Um, it's pretty scary. I'm just one too. of them that kind of moves my head, head, you know what I mean? Like to a song. Yeah. Um, your clothes make your character stand out as not belonging. At the Globes this year, you wore a suit that celebrated you as a leader in fashion and made you impossible to ignore. How deft are you at using fashion to blend in or stand out? I enjoy fashion. I enjoy learning about it. I enjoy getting to try bold things and, um, you know, I'm having a fun time with my style of Solaria. And I think, you know, the award season is a, is a good time to kind of try new things and, you know, uh, step out there and, yeah. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. This character is very diverse. What strains? were most like you, were easiest for you to um, find a connection with? Observing, I mean, as an actor, you're observing, you know, you're constantly watching and you're trying to learn people's behavior patterns and, you know, then imitate and then, you know, see, yeah. I, I think the observing part for me. The biggest stretch, what was? Oh, the biggest stretch? Hmm. Hmm. Um, would be the dancing again, back to the dancing, yeah. <laughs> dancing and the singing part. <laughs> uh, working with Emerald, she's produced a really unique bit of content. Um, how did you work with her? Um, how do you like to work with a director? She's incredible. She's, uh, I feel me and Emerald are in sync and I just, uh, you know, I, I, she's not afraid to, to tell me if something works or if something doesn't work and I'm not afraid to ask her questions and, and, and you know, kind of debate where or I kind of get down to the reason why I'm doing something. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with her. Yeah. One of the traits that I thought about your character was that when somebody hurts him, he, um, He's wounded, Kills but he's them. not broken. You yeah. know, he he comes at them. Um, has there ever been a time in your life where you felt a need to rise and kind of just shake it off and and move forward? You know, there's there's a lot of times where you have to rise, and you know, um, yeah, you get challenged with stuff, and you know, you you show your your true strength by by being mature and. Yeah, not being like Oliver, I'm reacting in, in that way. Obviously <laughs> Thank not. God. <laughs> no, no. You work so closely um, with um, Elordi. Yeah. Um, did you do a lot of prep ahead of time? How did you capture that intangible on screen? I think that's the sign of a good director, you know, that she she captured it for us. And, um, you know, it's, um, you know, Emerald's kind of knew how to work us together, um, you know, and when to keep us apart. Um, but yeah, it's not something you can really prep, is chemistry. But we, 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 got to, we got to hang out a lot and, you know, um, so when you put us on screen together, it was, it was easy. It was a pure delight watching you, as it always is. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for entertaining us. Thank you. Thank you.